Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to download Unreal Engine 5.6 from the GitHub beta version and I will show you how to build it from source using GitHub Desktop and Visual Studio 2022. This is a relatively straightforward tutorial, but you will need a lot of hard drive. I needed about 250 gig. You need a pretty fast CPU and a pretty fast GPU, which is to be expected from running Unreal. You can also do this on a Mac, although I've not tried this, and this tutorial is for Windows only. And you, it's worth noting that this is a beta version, and it's probably best waiting for the actual release of Unreal 5.6, which is probably imminent in the next month or two, to get some of the good stuff like the templates and get an official release, which will be a lot more stable. Now, the first thing you should do is to make sure you have an Epic account and to link that to your GitHub account. Otherwise, you will see nothing in the Epic GitHub. So there's instructions for how to do this at this link. Uh, I've already done this, but it's relatively straightforward. But this is the most common troubleshooting for not seeing your any epic uh, any unreal stuff in the github and you just have to connect it and link it up and then sign in to github with your epic account and once you have that you'll be able to go to this url or search releases here for 5.6 and we're going to target the main 5.6 and not the dev 5.6 here now the first thing we'll do is download github desktop and just double click the installer and get that running and then if you don't already have Visual Studio 2022, it's worth getting this and getting the Visual Studio installer first, which will help you install Visual Studio 2022 community, which is completely free. Now I already have this and you don't need the latest version. You can see my version is from January, but the latest should work as well, but it does have to be 2022. Now, once you have this installed, or perhaps before you install this, I can't exactly remember, you will have to add some extras for this to work with Unreal Engine. Now my one's been set up both to package an EXE and also to compile um, Visual Studio C++ Unreal projects as well. So you can copy mine if you want, but some of this may be a little overkill, but at the very least, I would install the game development for C++ section here. And you can copy mine if you want, or you can hit me up in the Patreon or the comments for further information on this. I do have a few extra bits here and they will take up some extra hard drive space, but uh, this will work. So once you've downloaded these, you can go to the green button here and click on open with GitHub desktop. And you can set yourself an output path here. I've just set documents and depending on your internet speed, this may take a couple of minutes to clone Unreal Engine. So once that's finished cloning, you can click the show and explorer button, which will show you where you've downloaded that to in the folder you specified. And what you want to do next is to click on this setup batch file. Again, this will take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet. Next, what you want to do is click this next batch file, generate project files. And again, wait a few moments for this to do its thing. And if done correctly, you should have a few extra files in here. And the one we're looking for is the one that says UE5 solution. This should open with Visual Studio 2022 if that's correctly installed. Now, depending on your Visual Studio setup, you might need to install extra components here in the top right hand corner. It seems that I need to just get a Clang compiler. I like compiling my Clang on a regular basis. And then I just click install to get this up and running. Now, once this is done, we can go up to this development pop down here and make sure we've got development editor selected and Windows 64 next to it there. If Windows is your target platform, which it should be if you're watching this video. Next, you can right click your UE5 icon and just click on build. And this is the process that's probably going to take the longest. So go make yourself a cup of tea, ready for your computer to heat up immensely. Now you might get some annoying pop-ups like this come up. And if you do, uh, and you've gone to make that coffee, you might forget about it. So also, so just click allow to these. And if you are stupid enough like me to be using AVG, get ready for lots of false negatives or false positives, whatever they're called, uh, being quarantined while you're doing this. So I would just switch off AVG or antivirus and just rely on Windows Defender for the process of this installation. 
So if you followed all that and it's finished, this is where the good stuff starts. Right click your icon here and click on set a startup project. Then right click the UE5 icon again here and under debug, click on start new instance. And this is when it should start to launch. And again, if you've got an antivirus or anything like that, look out for any notifications at this point. So all being well, you should have the Unreal Editor icon with 5.6.0 and the dreaded compiling shaders popping up. This shouldn't take more than another couple of minutes. Once that's up and running, you will see your usual startup screen. And there's a few extra templates that are on the GitHub here. If you missed them, I missed the puzzle one and the top down one, but they aren't the new templates yet. I expect Unreal are going to wait for a grand announcement for that. And just as well, they don't want idiots like me making videos on this before they can make an official announcement. Nonetheless, let's dive into first person here. And let's have a quick look at some changes. First of all, there's a new UI here that everyone's going crazy over. There has been a good couple of videos on this already, but you can see some new options here on your um, screen views here. And we have performance and scalability down to this tab. I switch between 4.27 and 5, and it's already confusing enough for me, but this is cool. You have your move, transform, rotate along here and your units along there on the left hand side. It's nice and neat here. Along with this volume editor, I don't know if this in there before. A couple of other bits that I've noticed here under tools is a stall log. Absolutely no idea what this does. Somebody might be able to tell me in the content in the comments. I've also noticed this gameplay tag manager. Again, I don't know what this does. Some of the probably more exciting stuff um, along the left here. This is probably not that exciting. We've got a virtual production section here that wasn't there before. The exciting stuff that I've noticed is in some of the plugins that have been uh, put in as experimental. And here I've got 5.5 next to 5.6 and comparing some of the plugins to see what's new under the experimental section in 5.6. Some of these may be in 5.5, I might have made an error, but um, it's exciting to see some of these and I'll no doubt be playing with these and making some of these some videos with these in the future. Got things like Celestial Vault, a day sequence implementation of Celestial Vault for Earth using Ephermis, Chaos Mover, a lot of ones at, around animation and metahumans and um, skeletal meshes. Got one here for DNA Caleb plugin. I haven't seen this before. Evaluation notifies. Geometry cache level sequence baker. Bake skeletal meshes in level sequence to geometry cache. Live link hub. Locomotor procedural animation for control rig. Meta sounds experimental. I could have sworn this was in 5.5, but maybe not. It's good to see meta sounds getting some love, and there is also a A tech audio tools here as well where I think you can edit waveforms and stuff like that and I've made previous videos of better sounds before and I'm quite keen to dive into some of this stuff and see what's on offer. Mflow Mutable which is in 5.5 but Mutable Clothing seems to be a new one. Packed Attributes. No idea what this does if anyone can tell me. Do please. Performance Capture Workflow, Performance Capture Core, so probably more tools for live performance capture into the editor. Rig Mapper, set of animation remapping features. Sequencer Animixer, and Skeletal Mesh Morph Targeting, Morph Target Editing Tools. I'm just beginning to explore this and I'm going to go and have a little look around this and see what I can discover. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. I've largely made it to help myself in the future if I want to build things like the uh, meta fork of uh, Unreal and uh, other platforms and other features which seem to exist on the GitHub. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hop on the Patreon for a chat with me. And thank you again.